Candela is a customizable, universal smart lighting automation system that helps users create easy-to-use lighting schedules or integrate new devices into the system. With the Candela mobile app, we want it to be accessible to all users regardless of experience level. The simple-to-use interface has clear choices for beginner users while also having expandable advanced customization available for experienced users. The first path we are going through is Manage Devices. Here, the user can tap on a device, select a room, tap Add Device, and a pop-up will inform the user the device has been successfully added to the room. Going back, the user can tap the plus icon in the top right to add a new device. Here, all available devices are shown. Tapping on the first option, a pop-up enables us to rename the device Philips Hue White A19 LED 60 Watt. And after tapping Connect, the Manage Devices page is updated with the new light. Our mid-fidelity tests on this path showed us that some pages were unnecessary, so we replaced them with pop-up messages. The second path we are going through is scheduling. The user can access this by tapping on the collapse menu icon, tapping on schedule, and here they can see their schedule for their selected day. From our mid-fidelity testing, we found that people wanted it to be very clear which day was selected. To add a new schedule, tap the plus icon. We can select a start time of 10 p.m. An ending time of 11 p.m. Starting brightness of 100% down to 0% ending brightness. Here we select the starting color temperature, ending color temperature, what days to apply the event, or we can have this recur monthly, weekly, or if we wanted to repeat daily, those options are removed. Tapping next, we can select which rooms to apply this event to, so living room, bedroom, and study, or individual bulbs. Tapping next, we can name the event, nighttime routine. Tapping create event, we are back at the schedule page with our updated schedule, nighttime routine. The last path we are going through is energy usage. This can be accessed by tapping the collapsed menu icon, tapping energy usage, and here we can select a room, view energy usage, and it will show us the percent of total household energy that room is currently using for the month, as well as a weekly view showing a day-by-day -day graph of energy usage for that room. You can also select multiple rooms, bedroom one, bedroom two, and the study to view the energy usage for those three rooms. And here it will show us the energy usage for the current month in terms of percent, as well as a week view for that room showing the day-by-day -day usage. You can select bedroom two to see that same weekly graph showing the energy usage day-by-day. -day and then selecting bedroom one also shows us its individual day-by-day -day energy usage graph. Some of the changes we made for this path based on our mid-fidelity testing was to have each room highlight when selected to make it very clear which rooms the users are selecting to view the energy usage on. We also made it so the bottom tabs highlight in green as well to make it clear which tab users are selecting in case they get lost. So this is the Candela app for the desktop version. Uh, in the desktop, we wanted to, of course, keep it very similar to the mobile app, uh, but we wanted to be able to take advantage of the, the real estate that, that comes with, um, with the desktop. So we built out some of the features um, like having featured moods up here at top, on the top. Uh, that way a user can quickly come in 
And, you know, depending on what room they're in, they can go ahead and choose like, you know, workout, nighttime, morning. Um, they can select their rooms here from uh, the right panel and then their de devices here on the bottom, uh, giving them an option to add a, an additional device directly from the home page. Um, some of the, the, for the main flows that we decided to focus on, uh, we place them here on um, the side panel. Uh, so this will be the primary navigation for, for this app. Uh, so we're gonna start with scheduling. Uh, in the scheduling, um, it's the, the purpose of this is essentially create a, a set schedule throughout the day. So uh, say you come home at five o'clock PM and uh, as soon as you get through the door, you want it to, you know, turn blue uh, and you want the lights to go off at like, you know, 5 p.m. or something. Then in this section, it allows you to do that. Uh, so we come in, we see the ones that we already have created. Uh, and then we come here just to the create new option. Uh, so we go to create new, uh, we set our brightness, uh, we set the ending brightness. And then we have our start time. So we'll set the start time for, let's say five o'clock, end time for 6 p.m. And then we go. We can go ahead and choose either yearly, monthly, or weekly, depending on how often you want it to repeat. So if say we do weekly, right? So then I'm saying Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, um, this schedule will repeat for me. If I choose daily, then my options disappear and I can continue on to the next task. Um, once I, I select um, my schedule, then I come here and choose the room. So I can choose either between living room, bedroom, kitchen, or study, just depending on which ones I have set up. Uh, so I'll go ahead and say, let's do living room and we want light bulbs one and three. Uh, and then from here, we can go ahead and choose our color picker. Uh, ideally, we would want um, the 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 prism color picker where you can just go ahead and choose the color from there but uh, we weren't sure how to do it so this is kind of our workaround for it uh, so we just choose let's say blue and then we want the ending color to be red uh, and then we go to the next task and then finally we name our schedule so we named it workout here's a hint just in case you don't know uh, and then we'll go to create events uh, and then once it's created we have workout here on the bottom we want to set up a new one, we can go ahead and hit create, and then it'll take us back to this page. Uh, the second task that we have is energy usage. So for energy usage, uh, this is for the, the people that are more energy conscious that, um, you know, you have a lot of these uh, smart devices throughout your house, and obviously it's going to take up a little bit more energy. So um, this allows you to select the rooms that you have devices in. Uh, so let's say bedrooms one, two, and then the study. Uh, and then when we click here, we can actually see the energy usage for each of the rooms. So we start off with uh, bedroom one and we can see, you know, what it is um, day to day and then how much each, each device is using up. So we have light bulbs one, two, and three using up 7.5 and then music roughly around the same. So the music would be like a stereo. Uh, and then we go to bedroom two, uh, our graph changes a little bit, our numbers change. And then finally we go to the study and then we can see the usage there as well. Uh, finally, we have uh, managing devices. Uh, so this is if you have um, multiple devices throughout your home, maybe you have different light bulbs, maybe you have a stereo, uh, maybe you have a camera system. Uh, this allows you to uh, set it to a room or add an additional device. So here we're going to carry out the task of adding a light bulb to a room. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to choose our EcoSmart 60 watt bulb. Uh, we click on it and let's put it in the study. So we'll choose the study. We'll say add device and then we'll get a pop up that says device has successfully been added to the selected room and then we can hit back and then we're all set. Uh, so that is essentially what we have. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and that's it.